Hey guys, Dark Horse here, and I wanted to uh, show you all the new Smash Remix patch. It's finally here, uh, patch 0 .9, 0 .7, and we got a lot. As you can see, we got not one, but two new characters. We got Wolf and Conquer. Hell yeah, let's go. Um, so first, I'm gonna uh, just start off by going over um, the new characters' movesets. So we'll uh, we'll check out Wolf first, and um, we'll just go through all those moves um, just so you can see them. We're not gonna go into like crazy detail. We'll go through like some jabs. Uh, he has, yeah, he has a, a jab three. He doesn't have a rapid jab down tilt. Okay. Matter how far it reaches, F tilt is like really strong. Up tilt. All right, it's probably pretty good out in front. F smash seems decently strong. Percent is that? Down smash, okay. Looks all right. And up smash is really cool. Uh, it has that first hitbox that like pulls them in, and the second one that hits them up. Pretty cool. Looks like it reaches out pretty far. All right, nair, standard 64 nair. Get out of here, Kuga. All right, forward air, not very strong at all. So probably used to set up combos, um, that kind of stuff. Down air is a spike. All right, looks good. Up air, probably not super strong. I mean, Pika was like crazy high percent there. Um, up air kind of seems like forward air, like similar knockback. Yeah, mostly to like set, like set up combos and stuff. All right, so neutral B is a gun, but it's this this shot that speeds up as it goes. And when you pull out the gun, it has a hitbox. So you can go right up to someone and do it. Shine hits up and away. Um, again, setting up these like horizontal combos, you can go into a down air or whatever. Up B, um, pretty cool, the wolf flash with the uh, the weak hitboxes at the beginning and the really strong hitbox at the end. Um, it does have intangibility at the end um, for a few frames. But so there are a bunch of different angles. Um, there's at least three. Uh, there's probably more. There's the high and you, you do these angles by um, uh, just moving the joystick. So like moving it down, we'll get the lowest angle. Holding it up will get the highest angle. And you can shorten it kind of like Falco's um, neutral B, but I'm terrible at that. So we'll, uh, we'll go check out Conquer. I know a lot of people are super excited about Conquer. Um, he's got to have a really unique move set. So jabs, jabs into the coolest rapid jab in the history of Smash. He pulls out the chainsaw. Um, I think it's really good too. All right, down tilt. Okay, just spins and tail whips him. Up tilt. It's like Mario Bros. F smash is the frying pan. Looks awesome. Probably some pretty good disjoint on it since it's since it's a weapon. It's basically a sword. Up smash. Is that just a better Samus up smash? That's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Down smash chainsaw. That hits. That's a good angle. Good knockback angle. Nair, okay, again, standard Nair, but really low range on it. He's got these little tiny feet, these little tiny legs. All right, fair at the frying pan. Um, looks like another move that kind of sets up horizontal combos. And then the back air with the katana. So that's, that's definitely uh, his finisher, is the back air. It's way stronger than the others. Up air, more frying pan, just kind of juggling. All right, it's like a like a DK up air a little bit. Down air, flamethrower comes back. I like that. That's a very different uh, multi-hit down air than we're used to. That's pretty cool. Neutral B is the slingshot. Um, you can charge it for a much stronger hit. Okay. The, the uncharged one is very weak hit. Um, you can't you can cancel it by releasing it before you land. The conquer is about to be toxic, and the down B is the grenade. Um, 
the timing on the grenade changes as it hits things. Um, it shortens if it hits things. If you just drop it and let it sit there, it'll last longer. Um, depending on how much you hold B and everything, you can also change like the throwing angle of it and how far it goes. Kind of like, um, kind of like Yoshi's up B. Um, and if you try and pull one out when you already have one out, he's like, "Yo, what are you doing?" Grenade's really cool though. Up B, all right. Um, looks like it has kind of a like a DK hitbox at the beginning. You can hold B. If you hold B, it lasts longer. Yeah, if you just tap B, it's actually pretty short. Um, it's like a decent vertical, uh, but pretty good horizontal recovery on it. All right, so now more new stuff. We have some new stages. This first one is uh, from Jet Force Gemini to Rip Esso. This is gonna be a really fun like team stage, like free for all stage with these crazy walls and stuff. Um, next we have Venom a stage. I'm probably not gonna play much on um, this layout. Um, I don't know, man. But it's really cool that it's in the game. Um, you got some good music with it too. Uh, Windy, this is from Conquer. This is a pretty cool stage. You got the moving plat. I mean, it looks great, right? Okay? Got the moving platforms. Um, you got the wall, kind of two tier. Uh, it's a pretty fun stage. And then we have Data Dine, which is a potentially permanent legal stage. I mean, it looks pretty good. It's not too big. The platforms are unique. And we have that taxi. Uh, moving in the background, probably hit. I don't know if uh, that'll be in the tournament, but I like this stage a lot. Um, and then from Mischief Makers, we have Planet Clancer, uh, another potentially like tournament viable stage. Um, cool layout, little tiny slopes at the end, and we have these moving platforms that pop out from the sides. Um, you can jump up through them. Um, you can't drop through them though. And then uh, Kitchen Island got completely remade, but I forgot to put it in the trailer. Uh, and to this stage, which is pretty cool, we got moving platforms. Um, the one big plat in the middle, slights. Are there slopes? I think it's actually a flat stage. Uh, pretty cool stages, though. All right, next, this is a feature um, that I really, really wanted. I'm so glad it's in here. You have transparent hitboxes and hurtboxes, or advanced hurtbox mode, I think it's called. You can activate it in training mode. You can also activate it um, through the remix options. But this just, it lets you see how disjointed moves are um, because you can see it hurt boxes and hit boxes at the same time. Such a useful tool. Um, it also shows intangibility and invincibility with blue and green um, respectively. Um, so you see here, invincible, invincible, so it's green. Um, you could also leave this on and play versus mode with it. Um, so you, if you are trying to like learn where your hitboxes and everything are, this is a great way to practice. Um, so you can visualize it all the time. Next new feature is freaking awesome. Um, this expanded character select where you can choose the size of the character, like the big, the giant, and the tiny ones, like the if you could use the mushrooms. Um, you can also change the visibility. You can be cloaked, you can be invisible, or you can be dark. Or you can turn on skeletons. <laughs> so you can just, there's like so many different combinations you can do. Um, you can play giant matches, you can play tiny matches, you can play giant versus tiny, you can play invisible matches, or you can just be giant Giga Bowser. Because why not? Next is um, one of my favorite new things in this patch, random knockback. At the beginning of the game, it re-rolls the knockback angle for every move you have except projectiles, even throws. Um, so you can just get some pretty crazy uh, matches happening. Uh, playing a ditto is especially fun because uh, the two players have basically different move sets. <laughs> what the heck? It's so great. It's so fun. Um, definitely going to do some random knockback uh, tournaments. 
Oh, that's so good. So, um, one of the new features that's going to get like the most play in this is the addition of Remix one player mode. So, not only can you play the Remix characters in one player mode, but now Remix characters appear um, as your opponents. Uh, this is really cool, and it's something that a lot of people have wanted for a while. Um, one important thing to note is that the normal difficulty in Remix One Player is the same as Very Hard in Regular. Very Hard in Remix One Player is ridiculous. As you can see, like, this Lucas is just taking, like, no knockback. This guy just refuses to go down. So you gotta cheese him. But you're gonna you're gonna spend a lot of time racking up damage or finding ways to uh, just cheese the uh, opponents into like a short stock because they are tanks. And it's it is random, so you're not always gonna get Lucas first. You might get another remix character. And here we have the Bowser team, but again, it's not always gonna be the Bowser team. It might be Conquer team. It might be Dark Samus team. It might be Dr. Mario team. It's gonna be some remix character team. Um, and I wanna say each remix character can be on more than one stage. So like Wario, you know, here we are at WarioWare, but we could also end up on Kitchen Island. So there's, um, there's just a crazy number of uh, different ways that remix one player mode can play out. It's not like, regular single player where it's the same characters on the same stages every time. Even break the targets is different. I'm DK. What the heck am I doing on Samus's break the targets? So you're going to get some, some interesting ones and maybe even, I want to say they're all possible. They might be tough. They might be tough with the unintended character, but it's doable. So here, instead of the Mario Brothers matchup, we have Star Fox team. So now, you're not fighting Mario and Luigi, you're fighting Fox and Falco. Really cool. Um, just a, a nice twist on the normal, um, you know, on one player mode. We played the Mario Brothers for 20 something years, now we get to play the Star Fox team. This Falco doesn't want to go down. What the heck? Dude. This Falco almost put me in the clip of the week. Oh, yes. Dude, Raygun. Raygun's so great on Remix Very Hard because they take no knockback. So you can just, <laughs> you just spam it. You can just juggle them off the screen. Oh, new Corneria. The gun shoot. So you just, you know, you play more Remix characters. Um, you know, nothing crazy until you get to the giant match it's going to be a giant remix character so i got giant dark samus which is miserable but you might fight giant bowser or giant dr mario or giant lucas oh my goodness but it is uh just going to be a, a giant remix character you get the two teammates like usual and, and same um, as the regular remix characters when they're opponents, you can end up on um, more than one stage. So like Dark Samus could end up here or on uh, the Brinstar stage, which I think should still be changed to Criteria, but you know. Or no, it's not. What is it called? Zeb's Landing. I should call it Criteria. The music is Brinstar. That's what it is. Get out of here, Dark Samus. So, Boarded Platforms is also different. Um, here I am DK on, I think, Lynx? Boarded Platforms? So, each character has a couple... I want to say a couple different ones they can end up on. Oh, come on. And then the Kirby team is still there, but now it's the Remix Kirby team. So, it's all the Kirbys with... Um, the different remix powers, which got added um, in the last patch with Mad Piano. So pretty cool. Um, they are still, even on very hard remix, they're still pretty weak throws. More remix characters. Oh my god, Young Link. Uneducatable. 
But you keep playing through, um, fighting Remix characters. You're not going to fight... Um, it, it, some things are going to be the same. You're still going to fight the Polygon team. That's still in there. But no Metal Mario. Now it's Mad Piano. The Mad Piano, officially the boss character. And he can be pretty tough on Very Hard. He's just so heavy. And he hits so hard. Oh, what? What dodge? But hopefully, you know, maybe they just do something like that. And then no Master Hand. No Master Hand. You have to fight Giga Bowser. Now, the early versions of Giga Bowser CPU, it would just SD, like, all the time. But he's had his, uh, his move pool adjusted. So he's way less likely to SD now. So you got to actually beat him. So we'll, we'll, see if, uh, we'll see if I can do it with four stocks here. It's not easy. I gotta, I gotta think of, think of ways to cheese him. What the heck? Oh, he didn't even. He was in no knockback from the back throw. <laughs> no, don't do it. Oh goodness. But yeah, it's a. Uh, Definitely a lot harder than the Master Hand fight. Because he doesn't just have telegraph moves that you can dodge. And he takes way more damage than Master Hand. Oh, come on. Dude, I can't lose this. Come on. Come on, DK. Now, um, I don't, you used to be able to do the, um, expanded character select options in one player mode, like making characters big and tiny and, and all that stuff, but I don't think you can do that anymore. Um, I think they didn't push that live. I think there were some problems with it, but also, like, get out of here, you cheaters. <laughs> you gotta just beat it. Yo, first person to beat Remix one player mode very hard, one stock mode continues. Please, please show me that video. I need to see it. Oh no, oh no. You're so close. Come on, 400%. If I can land a punch, we're good. Can't look. Oh, I should have done it there. There we go. Easy mode. Oh man. So Remix one player mode is super fun. Um, the new advanced hurt box mode I love for practicing and frame data stuff. Um, new characters are awesome. And uh, I mean, everything is great. New stages, you're gonna have so much fun. Random knockback tournaments are definitely coming. Um, I hope this overview helped you a little bit for those of you that uh, don't like to read patch notes. Um, there were also some balance changes with characters, but I'm not gonna get into those. Um, it wasn't anything crazy, just you know, a few things here and there. You can go read the patch notes yourself. But um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and um, anybody that beats uh, Remix, one player mode, very hard, one stock, no continues, let me know. Hope you all enjoyed it, and uh, I will catch you next time. Peace.